So hello to everybody. It is my pleasure to, to be here today with uh, Daniel Afonso. Thank you, Daniel, for being here with, with us today. My pleasure. Daniel is the Senior Vice President for People and Culture at Radisson, and he's the professor for the course on HR Management and Future of Work. So, Daniel, I have some questions for you to, today. Uh, the first one has to do with the uh, um, challenges and opportunities that you believe a sustainable tourism presents uh, from a human resources uh, management perspective, and particularly uh, when we speak about workforce development and retention. What can you tell us about this? Very good. Thank you very much. Sustainability, I think, is, is the future of, of hospitality, the future of many industries, and I think you can't operate ignoring uh, sustainability. We work typically with three main stakeholders in, uh, in hospitality, one being the hotel owner, the guests, and the employee. Mm. And all three stakeholders have a keen interest in, in sustainability. Owners want to own hotels that are sustainable, uh, that contribute to the net, net zero targets and so on. Um, guests want to stay in rooms where they feel they're not hurting their environment and they're contributing to sustainability. And employees more and more want to come and work with companies that have a sustainable agenda um, and have that as part of their strategic priorities. So it's unavoidable that as an industry, we tackle and, and, we, and we work with it. Specifically within workforce management, um, we operate in many countries around the world. Many times we work in, commun in smaller communities where we have a massive impact on the local talent. Hospitality many times is a, is a door uh, for work mm -hmm. for many people who choose hospitality as their first step and their first uh, job. And as a profession, we capture those people and we allow them to grow within a hotel, and eventually even internationally. And we play that role in, in local communities. We need, to, we need to continue to play that role and actually enhance it, give more opportunities, invest in education in, in those local communities, and make sure that we create an even more positive mm -hmm. uh, mark where we go. Excellent, thank you. Uh, well, your course, you speak about the future of work, and, and obviously that's connected to technology, to, to digitalization. So what can you tell you about how technology, digitalization are is shaping the future of, 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 of work and specifically tourism. Technology is changing everything, uh, I think in, in all, probably all industries. And certainly hospitality is no exception. We see it affecting every process. I'll give you an example. Um, when you look at people and culture or HR processes, around 90% of the HR processes in the hotels are already uh, driven by technology or through technology. So the future of work is um, it's impossible to dissociate from technology. And technological skills um, are an, a really important asset for anyone wanting to work uh, in hospitality. And it will drive the future of hospitality. I think today we are not yet fully aware of how artificial intelligence is going to change the way we interact mm -hmm. uh, within organizations, uh, be it among employees or within um, with, you know, employees with customers, uh, to what extent we're going to drive to check-ins that are done completely by robots and computers. So who knows what the future has in stock for us, but most certainly technology will be there. All right. All right. So things are changing a lot, no? and actually you're dealing with people, you're dealing with, with culture. Um, can you speak a little bit about the, how to foster a culture of continuous learning and ad adaptability among uh, tourism professionals? <laughs> what can yes. we say? I think learning is, is, is a fundamental attitude, if you could even call it a, like an attitude, uh, in a changing world like, world like ours. So we are changing at unprecedented uh, speed. Uh, the world in three years will not look like the world today. Mm. So if you don't row, you're going to fall behind. Right? If you don't move, you're going to be left behind. And learning has to be part of everyone's life. So you have to encourage people to have a curiosity, to understand the, the, let's say, the burning platform mm. uh, for learning, and then provide them with tools. So make the um, learning programs accessible, making uh, people accessible. At the end, many times we, we learn through people. Um, and finally, making opportunities available. Um, the biggest learning anyone can have is by doing. Mm -hmm. And so having the opportunity to take on a new challenge, a different role, uh, move to a different country, change functions, uh, mm -hmm. etc. is the best learning anyone can take. So making sure that we have all those elements in place 
uh, will give every opportunity to employees um, associated with any company in the industry to learn and grow and prepare themselves for the future. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like traveling and learning new cultures, interacting with people from around the world are very, very critical, right? Okay, and one last question from, from my side, which is now looking ahead, okay? Uh, what do you envision as the most critical skills and competencies for future HR managers when they deal with uh, tourism and sustainable tourism? Very good. So I think the um, HR as a profession is very rounded. Uh, you require a lot of skills because it's very, it's very rich as a, as a function. And I would highlight three or four. The first one I'd say is analytical skills and ability to deal with data. We are moving into a world where we're going to be uh, very data rich. Um, mm. And as an HR professional, you need to be able to step back from the data and understand what am I looking at, what do I see through the data, and how that does the data help me make decisions. Um, the second one uh, I'd say is agility. Um, perhaps you could call it learning agility. But this, this notion that um, within the profession we need to always be one step ahead mm -hmm. uh, and make sure that as soon as the environment change, as soon as the expectations of employees or candidates change, we are creating tools, processes mm -hmm. um, and services to reach out to them and speak to them in their language. So agility, speed, uh, I would say would be a second very important skill. And then the last one I would highlight is empathy. Mm -hmm. Empathy, because at the end, hospitality is a people industry. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people come uh, to hospitality and look at it as a, um, as a calling. Um, mm -hmm. And therefore, a lot of people, people put their hearts into the profession. And being able to communicate with passionate people um, and perhaps complement technology uh, mm -hmm. in a way that technology maybe will never, will never get to, is where empathy and that personal communication comes into place. Wow, <laughs> quite a few changes coming. Absolutely. Okay. Of course, will definitely be very, very interesting for everyone. Thank you so much, Daniel, for being here with us. Thank you very much.